Hallelujah, glory to God. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You are most welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me, the first time you're coming across my channel or deciding to click on my video, God bless you. And thank you so much for stopping by. I pray God blesses you through this channel in the name of Jesus. Before I release this prophetic word, I want to pray because I want this prophetic word to be a reality in your life. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this prophetic word. Lord, we know that your word has the ability to make us what it talks about. As we listen to this prophetic word, may it come alive in us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Somebody under the sound of my voice, they underestimated you. They looked at you like you are not able or you would not be able to do what you say you want to do. They underestimated you. And God says, I should tell you, he is giving you the grace to do that which you are supposed to do. Hallelujah. He is giving you the grace. You know, Sambalat and Tobias, when they looked at, Jer at um, Nehemiah, he was so zealous about rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. And they looked at him and they said, what he's trying to build, even if a fox climbs on it, is going to get shattered. They underestimated Nehemiah and they underestimated the power of passion. Nehemiah was so passionate about rebuilding the wall and nothing could stop him and stop him. And guess what? God empowered him for that task. God empowered him. And God is telling me to tell someone under the sound of my voice. They underestimate you. They think you can never be a good spouse. They think you can never be a good, you know, entrepreneur. They think you can never be a good husband. You can never be a good career person. But if you're passionate enough to embark on that journey, he is going to give them the shocker of their life. Yes, he's going to give them the shocker of their life because you're going to accomplish it powerfully. You are going to accomplish it powerfully. Whenever, one thing I've come to realize about God is that he's, he always delights in, you know, lifting up people that they, that, they, that have been written off on. God always delights in showing himself in people that they have written off on. And God is saying in this situation that they underestimate you. They have given up on you. They don't believe that you can actually amount to something or you can do something outstanding. But God says that his grace is coming upon you to embark on that thing which they think you can never do in the name of Jesus. As you begin to do it, the supernatural enabling force of God is going to come upon you and overtake you and you are going to even accomplish it to your own amazement and to the and to the shame of the devil hallelujah thank you jesus thank you god this prophetic word is becoming a reality in your life in jesus mighty name amen you shall testify